For more videos, visit forthesakeofeducation.com. Alright guys, now we're gonna do this very easy problem. It says the force F with a magnitude of, I mean, with the vector of negative 40k acts at the end of the pipe. Determine the magnitudes of F1 and F2, which are along the pipe and per perpendicular to it. Now, the first thing we do, as always, is find all the position vectors uh, involved. O sits at uh, 0i plus 0j plus 0k and A sits at 3i plus 5j minus 3k. So from O to A vector is equal to A minus O which is equal to A because O is 0, 0, 0 which is again 3i plus 5j minus 3k. The magnitude of this vector can be found by doing the x component square plus the y component square plus the c component square each of these three numbers plug into this formula and you get that is equal to 6.56 you can find with these values the univector or a which will be the tiny univector right here with a magnitude of 1 by dividing the oa position vector by its magnitude which is equal to 0.457i plus 0.762j minus 0.457k. Now that you have this univector, if you want to find the projection along this direction, all you do is you do the dot product of the force. by the univector. The force is 0 in the i plus 0 in the j minus 40 in the k as given by the problem. That the univector which is 0.457i plus 0.762j minus 0.457k. 0 times 0 is zero. Zero times I mean zero times four 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 five seven is zero. Zero times point seven six two is zero and negative forty times negative point four five seven is positive eighteen point twenty eight which will make this project projection eighteen point twenty eight. This is this force right here F one eighteen point twenty eight. Now they're asking you perpendicular which will be F two and very simple you see that this force right here is the same as I would draw this force right here and this is a right triangle so a Pythagorean theorem is in order um, let me redraw it right here this is F let me put it right here this is F1 right here so if this is a right triangle this is F2, which is what we're trying to find, and this is a right triangle. So we got F because the magnitude of the vector is 40. It only has a 40 going down, so not much to calculate. So we got the magnitude. So you know that F1 squared plus F2 squared is equal to F squared. Uh, let's plug in some values, F1 uh, which is calculated to be 18.28 square plus F2 square which, which is what we're trying to find is equal to 40 square. When you solve for F2 you're going to get that it's equal to 35.58. So final answer for F2 and this is F1. Final answer, final answer. Please comment below if you want me to do any problems and I'll be happy to help. Thank you.